So let's talk about the paint. We have our medium and uh, the following applies to either egg tempera or the gum tempera mixture that we made. What we mixed was our actual medium. From the medium we can mix our colors and then from our colors we can adjust that as needed for the painting. So um, an analogy would be what we're going to do next is mix the color that would sort of go into a tube of paint if there was a tube of paint of egg tempera. We have a couple of options. Uh, one good option is tubed watercolors. So we can use this to make our egg tempera color. I also mentioned this at one point. Um, this is a pigment dispersion and this is the company Guerra Paint. This is a highly concentrated um, pigment that has just been dispersed in a water solution, sort of like uh, distilled water. And it's also handy to have a palette knife that'll help us mix the colors. And I just want to say again, at this point, um, we kind of mixed a little bit. The same goes with the colors. Um, mix them sparingly. Sometimes what happens is if you have too much, it dries up and um, we want to work with the wet mixture. Um, so you can sort of um, mix only little bits at a time, only what you need. The ratio is usually very easy. Uh, one part pigment, in this case I'm using the watercolor. Just a little bit. And one part egg tempera paint. So when you mix them together you might see that it sort of thickens up a little bit. And you want to mix it really well. And this is our color that we're working with. Again, similar to if we take a color straight out of the tube. That's what we have. Now we have egg tempera straight out of the tube. I'm going to use some pigment dispersion. One part dispersion. One part tempera. With every color, it's a little bit different. Um, in this case, it actually feels like the egg can take a little bit more of the pigment. So I'm going to add some more pigment. And another thing to mention is, you see it sort of going green here. And um, in the case of egg tempera, the yolk is naturally yellow, um, but when it dries, it dries clear, and it, it will stay clear over time. So we'll be working on this kind of ground, which is ampersand clayboard. And this was on everyone's uh, materials list for the semester, so you should have one. And what it is, is a very absorbent ground based on traditional gesso. Traditional gesso is handmade um, using calcium carbonate, titanium white, and rabbit skin glue. So um, what this does is uh, simplifies things. And it's a nice um, vegan alternative compared to the old rabbit skin glue method. Here's a piece that I just doodled on already, and 
So let's talk about a couple of other materials that it's good to have around. So traditionally tempera painting is done with cross hatching. So a few very fine brushes will be really helpful. Although as you can see here, we can kind of push it with water and treat it more like um, a uh, water media painting. Um, and the other thing that's good to have with us is a rag and you'll see why. 